If you're confused about the reproductive cycle of dogs, here is a simple explanation. So with dogs, the female is the leader when it comes to reproduction. <laughs> She's the leader because she determines when they reproduce. She determines so by her heat period, known as the estrous cycle. Um, during this period, she will be ovulating and she will send hormonal signals to the male dogs around to let them know, hey, it's time. Come around and let's get busy. Until then, there's not going to be any signal sent out. So they're going to just live normal lives till the next estrus cycle. This cycle occurs typically with larger dog breeds every six to seven months. And with smaller dog breeds like Maltese, Poodles and whatnot, about three to four months. When the cycle occurs, the male is instantly alerted by a uh, hormonal um, exchange of dialogue. <laughs> so the female gives off certain hormones through her vulva. And sometimes, actually in most cases, she will start to excrete blood at the initial stages. And um, during the first week and a few days after that, she does not allow the male to mate. And this is like a preparation period. And then somewhere during the second week, she finally gives in. And that's when she's actually ready. And that's when a mate will successfully lead to a pregnancy. Um, in most cases, when this happens naturally, a pregnancy is almost certainly guaranteed. But, uh, you know, otherwise, just as in the case of other, other mammals and human beings, sometimes the pregnancy um, doesn't happen for different factors. And one of the things that can lead to a failed pregnancy is an unsuccessful mating between the male and the female. Um, another thing is what's known as um, fetus absorption, where when the female isn't getting enough nutrients during the early stages of her pregnancy, her body goes into an automatic drive of absorbing nutrients from everything it can find within itself. And in the case of a pregnant dog, it would go for the fetuses. So um, you might see signs of pregnancy at the beginning, but then after these examinations are done again in maybe a month's time, you may realize that all the pups that were showing in the x-ray in the scan have disappeared thanks to um, fetus absorption. So those are some of the things that can lead to such failure and typical miscarriages as well, which will be excreted through blood. Um, these are the dire scenarios, but then otherwise, a natural mating should lead to a successful pregnancy and proper nutrition should lead to a successful birth. And then the weaning process happens and life continues. So yeah, this guy over here can sense that this lady is in heat. <laughs> so he's trying to make his move. And um, they've had two successful meetings already. And so um, he's probably a little, little bit tired today. So he's not trying as hard as he usually would. Otherwise, you'd see him humping every single minute of the day on the female dog, which I'm sure some of you notice um, when your female dog gets in heat around your male. So I hope this explanation has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me a DM. I'll be happy to assist you. And um, I'm Dog Trainer GH. Take care. Come. Good girl, Juno. Hey, Lemon. Good girl. Coco. Come. Coco. Come here. Good boy. This way. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Let's go.